What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new and this is your first time, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, share the videos, comment on the videos, and have a great time with this excellent community we've built here on this channel of Tundra owners and half-ton truck enthusiasts. It is a good time. To make it easier on you, uh, check out the playlist section. I put everything into categories uh, to help you navigate through the 1300 plus videos on this channel. Okay, so I got a good one for you today. These are the types of video I love to make. So I was cruising around Facebook um, a few days ago and I came across a gentleman named Joe uh, who traded in his 2016 Chevy Silverado LT for a 2020 Tundra TRD Pro in the brand new Lunar Rock color. Now, when people do that, I have a ton of questions for them and I feel like these are very important videos uh, for not just you the owner, but you the potential owner out there. The half ton segment is one of the hottest segments uh, in the automotive landscape, 100%. Uh, the half ton pickup trucks are insanely popular, especially when the gas prices get low like they are now, but even when they're high, people are always buying half ton trucks. Now, one thing you need to know about uh, owners of half ton trucks is they are very loyal to their brand. Chevy guys, Ford guys, Toyota guys, Ram guys. It's all, they pretty much stay wherever they are and they're always gonna tell you why their brand is the best. So when somebody switches brands, I feel like it's a big deal and I have questions for them. Why did you switch brands? Uh, what were the pros and cons of your old truck? What are the pros and cons of your new Tundra? Why, what are some of the things you're looking forward to with the new truck? All that kind of thing. I also like to hear from owners who have left the Tundra and gone to other brands and why. So if you are one of those folks out there and you would like me to tell your story on what brought you to the Tundra or brought you away from the Tundra, uh, hit me up, tundradude34 gmail.com and we will go over that story as well. So I'm gonna give you pieces of this email that Joe sent me. First, we're gonna go over some of the things he liked about his Silverado and some of the things he disliked about his Silverado. Um, and then we'll go over some of the things with the Tundra, why the Tundra, why Toyota and everything like that. So thank you for being here, sit back and enjoy. All right, so he has four pros for his Silverado. Once again, it was a 2016 LT Silverado. Pro number one, fits all my needs at the time. Number two, first full-size pickup truck. So that was the first one he owned. Number three, it's a true workhorse. Number four, can control all child safety features from the driver's seat. And here are the cons of the Silverado. Electrical nightmare. Called OnStar three times, wouldn't let me end the calls. Infotainment center was possessed. Seems small for a full-size pickup, underpowered. Okay, so those are his pros and cons from his outgoing Silverado. Um, one thing that you know, why I really love making these videos are everybody is different with their truck. Uh, their needs are different. Some of the things they like, some of the things they dislike. And that's why it's always fun to hear what everybody's thinking. But there's one thing, actually there's two things in that uh, that stuck out to me. Something I've heard from uh, quite a few owners of Chevy Silverados in the past. So if you're a Chevy Silverado owner and this is wrong, hit me up and let me know if it's right. You can let me know that too. It's always good to hear that every once in a while. Uh, but the electrical gremlins, I've heard about that with the infotainment system they have over in Chevy. Um, I don't know if it's come a long way from 2016, uh, but a friend of mine has, I think it's a 20, I think it's a 2016 diesel, a Duramax Chevy. Um, but he has a lot of problems with his head unit and it's kind of the same idea of sometimes it just kind of goes blank or it resets. Uh, sometimes the apps don't work on it. A lot of electrical gremlins with that thing. Number two that we hear a lot about that 5.3 motor underpowered. I've heard that quite a few times. So he seems to have the same kind of pros and cons of a lot of other people with it. Um, true workhorse is something we always hear from the Chevy Silverado. It is a great truck. All these half ton pickups nowadays are great trucks. Reliability in all of them have come way up from the past. Uh, so, you know, it, it all comes down to your wants and needs. And once again, if you're loyal to your brand, uh, but the two that really caught my eye there was that underpowered because that's what everybody says. That's a trend right there. And those electrical gremlins, especially with the infotainment system. So now let's hear a little bit about why he went to the Toyota Tundra. Okay. My first question to him is why did you want to leave Chevy? My Silverado was getting old. It was four years old and about 90,000 miles on it was starting to show the wear and tear. The electrical gremlins were a nightmare and the 5.3 liter V8 just seemed tired and underpowered. She really seemed to struggle at highway speeds.
Why Tundra? My wife's family is all about Toyota. She had mentioned I should look into the Tundra, and I was interested knowing Toyota bought the rights to the Chevy 350 motor. I did research for about six months and decided the Pro was the model I wanted. I love everything about my Yoda. The interior space, the power, the ease of use for most of the functions. There are some things I would change. The 5.5 foot bed is a little small. I know it would have made it longer, but at least the six foot bed would have been better for hauling things like for length sheets of plywood. All right, so one of the pros that he said is that the 5.7 liter uh, you know, is a nice powerful engine. And that is one thing I hear from a lot of people that have driven Tundras, not even owned Tundras, but just got in one, maybe a rental or something like that, that the 5.7 is a powerful beast of an engine. And we definitely agree with that. Gotta love that engine, especially in the 2020. Slight little retune on her, a uh, little throttle mapping change, and that thing is singing. One of the best 5.7s I've ever driven is the 2020 in my driveway right now. One of the things that he says he would like to see change, and we talk about this all the time, this is definitely in the top three things you guys wanna see changed in the Tundra, is the length of the bed with the crew max. So right now you get the five and a half foot bed, people say it's too small. Um, he said at least six, I could see that. My thing is this, while we're on that subject, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe take a little bit off the cab of the Crew Max and add a little bit of bed. That's just me. The Crew Max back seat is gigantic. They have some room to work with. So if they take a little off that cab and add a little more to the bed, I think it would be the best of both worlds, but that is just me. So Joe, thank you very much for sending in your pictures uh, and answering my questions. Absolutely love to hear when owners go to the Tundra and come away from the tundra and why. Okay, so at the end of my videos, I always like to talk about a couple of playlists I think you guys should check out. One is gonna be the fan feature, which folks send in pictures and information about their tundra, uh, and I make a fan feature on your tundra. If you're interested in that, check out the playlist. There are uh, all the instructions you need to do about emailing me and the stuff you need to email me. It's in all those videos, so check that out. And the other one is gonna be the next generation tundra playlist, which is all the rumors of the upcoming 2022 Tundra, which will be a ground up redesign. So go check that out. I thank you for watching. Once again, if you are someone who switched brands either to Toyota or away from Toyota into a different half ton, let me know, uh, tundradude34gmail.com. I'd love to make a video on your situation. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at tundradude34, tundradude34gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe. Talk to you soon.